Okay, having just switched a website over from HTTP to HTTPS, uh, it's very common to see some errors around mixed content. And in this case, I'm using Enviro Gallery, and there's some thumbnail images for various photo albums that are simply not displaying anymore. Um, so we can see from the address bar there, the site is being served over the secure HTTPS, but as I say, these Im images are missing. And if we ins if we use the right click inspect, we can see that there are some errors showing up there in the console. If we look in the console and we've got these mixed content errors, so it says the page at the gallery page here was loaded over HTTPS, but the page requested an insecure image and that should be served over HTTPS. So. What are the solutions here? There are various plugins you can install for doing this, and they will sort of apply redirects and all those kinds of things. Um, but essentially, the, the issue is those links are hard-coded in the database. And now, obviously, it would be very time-consuming to go through and manually adjust all of those. So, however, there is a tool which will search and replace, just like you do in Microsoft Word when you need to search a term and replace it with another one. You can do that with your database too. Um, but this tool does come with some warnings. It's uh, potentially very damaging for your site if you use it wrongly, if you're not sure what you're doing. Uh, and there's all sorts of disclaimers here that you, you tick and understand, blah, 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 that you mustn't leave it on the server, you, um, you know what you're doing, and you accept that it can be a security risk. So you have to fill in that form to get the script in the first place, and then there are some brief instructions. So I know that lots of people who haven't done this before are very daunted by, by a process like this. Uh, it, I was the first time I used it, um, but I've done it a few times now, and... Uh, it's no longer very scary as long as you're careful about what you're doing. So I'm going to walk through that process. I've downloaded the file and here it is. This is the zip file so I'm going to extract all of these files here. I would highly recommend once you've downloaded the tool from this website Interconnect that you follow the installation instructions here. And it's telling you first of all to upload all of the files to its own separate folder alongside your WP admin, WP contents and so on. So what you need to do is FTP into your site and then in my case all the WordPress files are inside this folder called public HTML. Yours may be similar. So there I can see my WP admin, WP content and so on. So I need to make a new folder here at that level, not within one of those folders but at the same level. So create directory, and it needs to be called not something fairly obvious. You don't want to call it something like search and replace or you know fix database or whatever. Um, so it just needs to be something fairly obscure. So I'm just going to call it, I'm just going to make something up completely randomly, P3Y5, who knows. So that's our folder. And then within there, just do a random keyboard bash. And now we need to upload our files to that folder. Okay, you'll see there is a file there called index.php. So all we need to do now is visit the URL for our site slash whatever that random string was. In, in my case, P3Y5. Obviously, uh, by the time I share this video on YouTube, I will have deleted these files. It's uh, imperative that you do delete these files after you've finished using them because uh, it's a very big security risk on your server. Otherwise, somebody could basically take c complete control of your site um, or take the site down or do whatever they wanted with it. So you must, must, must re remove these files after you've finished with them. Here's my site. So here's the main URL. I'm going to copy that into a new tab. And then I'm going to go slash P3Y5. Here it is. And you don't have to do anything in terms of setting it up to access your database. The tool itself just digs that information out. So this looks a bit scary and daunting and um, quite right too, because it is. If you do something wrong here, you're going to break your site. You know, Don't be under any uh, misunderstanding there. You can ruin everything with this. So before you even start, make sure that you've got access to backups of your site in case you need to, to re replace them later. But essentially it's quite simple. It says replace 
and you put a string in there with such and such a string. Now in my case, we want to change the HTTP references to the full domain slash with HTTPS and make sure you spell everything properly, obviously, or there will be a disaster. I'm saying that every instance of that in the database needs to be replaced with exactly the same but with the S in the HTTP. Now what's really useful about this tool and uh, helps to alleviate some of the anxiety around this is that this button here called dry run. You can do a dry run and essentially what that does is it shows you all of the changes it could potentially make. So it will identify all those instances of, of HTTP and it will show you where it will make the changes. So so we can go ahead and click dry run. We're leaving these options as they are. We're looking in every single table in the database. We're not being specific for certain tables or certain columns or anything like that. We're just scanning everything. And then we're going to click dry run. But it's looking now through every single table on the website. The comments, the forms, we'll see posts lower down. I expect it will find some in posts, the, the WP posts um, table. Okay, it's found one there and it gives you a link to view the changes as well. So I'm going to let it finish before I do that. Okay, scanning down this list then. Um, yes, I can see here, uh, I was right, is the posts table where the majority of the changes were likely to be made. But it's also found some within options and uh, one in the post meta as well. Any further lower down yet? 23 in an email thing to do with uh, mail poet and some within Yoast as well, 65 within Yoast. So let's have a look at these um, changes. If we click the view changes link, and again, these are all links to either hard coded links to pages or posts or sections of the site or their uploads. WP content uploads, um, you know, various images and so on that have been uh, uploaded over the months and years. And they're all still being served over HTTP, which is why we're getting mixed content messages here. So by running this now for, for real, we will update all of those links so that they'll no longer say HTTP, they'll, they'll be changed to within the database to say HTTPS. Uh, and by doing that, we won't need to use any of these plugins, which essentially just mask the issue by forcing redirects and so on. Okay, I'm not sure what this bit means. PHP incomplete class has no unserializer. I'm going to pause and check that out before I proceed. Okay, I've just investigated this particular strange error that's uh, popping up and made a change and I've also taken the opportunity here to test for the www versions of the links. So I'm going to run the dry run again. Okay, this highlights the importance of checking both the www version of your domain and the non www version because we found several versions that needed changing in the non www and now I've repeated the search with the www and again it has found examples where it would need to change them. So uh, when you're running this for yourself, don't forget to, to run both versions of the, uh, of the search. This time, uh, we don't have any of those errors uh, showing up. So incidentally then, the, the solution I found was just by Googling it, um, it came up on a GitHub page. And the solution seems to be linked to the Yoast plugin. The solution was simply to turn the XML sitemaps off. Uh, obviously you can turn them back on afterwards, but uh, I can confirm that I've just turned my sitemaps off and rerun the test and it did not throw up any errors this time. Um, so I'm quite happy now to run this as a live thing because it hasn't got any errors. It's found lots and lots of the www versions that need changing. Okay, so I'm actually going to run this for real now, um, but be completely confident that you have backups of your site in order to uh, fall back on if something goes wrong during this process. Okay, so the moment of truth has arrived. Uh, I need to 
confirm that I'm happy to run this now, and I am. The dry run ran successfully. I'm now going to click the live run button. And then just as your heart is pounding, you've clicked the live run button, it pops up a little message to say, are you absolutely ready to run search and replace? Make sure you have backed up your data. Yeah, we've done that. Click OK. And then it gives you a little count. Live run in three, two, one. Oh shit, there's no going back now. So now what it's doing is running through every single table and it is actually making those changes to the database now. There we are, it's finished. So it's changed 2,818 cells, 2,419 database updates were performed in just less than one minute. Now I'm going to take these www dots out again. Okay, slightly quicker this time it's finished and uh, it hasn't made as many changes, but 569 database updates and in 54 seconds. So that is all good. Uh, there is a button here now to say delete me. Once you're done, click the delete me button to secure your server. Um, what I would rather do is go into the FileZilla FTP and just manually delete all those files. And I'll delete the folder they were contained in. And if we actually refresh that, We're just going to go back to the ordinary site 404 page because those files don't exist anymore. So you must, must, must delete those files afterwards. So now that is the moment of truth, isn't it? Uh, if I refresh this page now, may need to clear cache and things like that. No, that wasn't necessary. It's, uh, it seems to be finding the images again, which is great. They had gone before and we have no more errors in there to do with the mixed content. The only errors I'm seeing here are to do with Chrome extensions and things that I've, I've got in place. Um, so it's not really an error on the website. Okay, one last test you can do is to check your site on whynopadlock.com. So if we put our address in here with the HTTPS, And then test the page. So I'm just testing the main home page here. What this does is it analyzes various aspects of the security of your site from the, the main domain and the content within the page as well. So um, we'll get this section pass at the top around the, the, dom the domain and so on is all correct. Uh, and then if there were any continuing issues with the mixed content, we would have details here, but it's saying now um, you have no mixed content. So that's absolutely fantastic. So that's one final test. Uh, and obviously, if there were issues here, it will give you details and you, that will then help you to track down any of those sources of uh, mixed requests and so on. So where you still might have requests that are still referring to HTTP sources. Really, there's t just two other things that you would need to do once you've changed over to HTTPS. And that would be, if you go into your dashboard and settings and general, you must make sure that the WordPress address and the site address here have been amended to include the HTTPS version. Okay, so make sure you do that and save the changes. And then one last thing, which requires uh, FTP once again, we're looking in the top level folder here, so alongside your admin content and includes folder, you should have an HT access file. And if you view edit that, you'll need to copy in a f three lines of code like this here, which essentially just forces all traffic to resolve to HTTPS instead. So if you've got any other websites out there with backlinks to your site that are pointed to the HTTP version, i.e. the old version of your site, what this line of code in your HT access file will essentially redivert all that traffic to the HTTPS version. Now, of course, in the text here, I've got my domain. You would need to change this domain here to your own domain, obviously. Once you've made that change, you can just um, close the file and re-upload the new one. Uh, as always, take a backup of your HD access file just in case something goes wrong and you, when you try to log into the site again, you get the white screen of death or something like that, and then you can just reinstate your old HD access file. 
Uh, so always make sure you t take a backup before you mess with that file because it is quite a crucial file that uh, again you, you could easily make a mistake and and suddenly think where's my website gone so just to summarize then you know a few days ago this site was being served over http we were having issues with that so i've installed uh, a new ssl certificate through let's encrypt We've run the find and replace tool um, to replace all those references to HTTP to get rid of those mixed references, mixed content uh, errors that were that were showing up. And um, everything now seems to be working pro properly and it's serving all the pages over a secure link. So job done and no disasters, no what mad panics. I hope this tutorial has uh, put your mind at rest about using the search and replace tool. Obviously, we've not had to rely on any third-party plugins to provide ongoing redirections and so on. Uh, I believe this is probably the best, cleanest way to do it. So if you found this video useful, uh, please do subscribe to the channel. Uh, I do try to post uh, useful, informative content to help people out from time to time. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.